you guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute um my husband came home from deployment and we were taking some time off just to spend time together as a family and i'm ready to get back to it i'm hoping to do at least one video a week i am going to be making them shorter so it'll be a quicker view for you guys and it'll be easier for me to edit and manage to actually do. Today I'm going to be reacting to some of my old MLM posts, well stuff I put on my story. And while I was looking through this, I didn't watch all of these all the way through so we could get like a genuine reaction. Oh, by the way, um, I'm filming this at night because my son is getting three teeth all at one time. So there's no quiet period of time for me to film. So you guys are getting the scary stories in the dark vibe and that's just what it is. This is a picture I posted on my story. This would have been in 2018, the beginning of 2018. And it says, I'm heckin' ready for Tampa. Thinks it works. And um, I would say things like heckin', ironically, because I do cuss a lot in my real life. But also I couldn't really be myself in this MLM. I had to seriously emulate the people at the top. So like the designated personality that all the top earners have and it works and they don't cuss. This is a picture of a battery replacement. My phone battery died or something. I don't remember and I had to replace it. So I ordered one off Amazon probably <laughs> and this little charging thing. And altogether it was probably like 20, 25 bucks. Um, that's also about what I left over for my checks every month, I think. I'm gonna blur this person's face here, but this is me taking a picture with my favorite leader and it works. Um, if she was speaking, I was listening. Like I was eating that shit off. And then I spotted her at this conference. I had to get a picture with her because she was like, okay, you know how top leaders in these MLMs are treated like ce celebrities within the MLMs? Um, this was my favorite MLM or like this was the person that I idolized um, and she's very red no pun intended she's red hair but she was very red so she's very money driven goal oriented like she's a go getter all of that stuff she's also kind of hard assy and I was hard assy in a destructive and negative way I thought I was being like her I I don't think that's what happened but and it says, just finished crying. I was crying because I met this top income earner and it works. Let's all cringe together. This is a picture of me getting home from doing a little bit of grocery shopping. And I said, when it works, pays for your basic needs too. With like these emojis, woohoo. Cause like- All hail the MLM. Okay, let's see what this is gonna be. This is a video that I put on my story as well. These are all for my story. Let's take a deep breath. When I started looking at these in my archive, I was getting hot. Like, so embarrassed for who I was in this MLM. I don't even, whose personality this is that I was trying to emulate, I. Mm. And also just one last thing, if you guys care at all about taking care of your gut, if you don't poop every day, if you don't want to get sick, you guys have to take If you guys care at all about your gut, call this number on the screen. I know you're sitting there thinking, wow, I've actually always cared about my gut health. I didn't poop every day. Um, at this point, I probably weighed 120 maybe I was on my way to 125 at this point um and I didn't eat enough to poop every day so of course I didn't poop every day even when taking these so I'm not sure what I was talking about you guys have to take care of your stomach so I take our probiotic like was I talking about like a tiny little pellet does that count as poop I don't know probiotic every day and I'm regular and I don't think that's necessarily true so I don't really know what I was talking about when I'm saying and I'm regular with like this stupid look on my face. And who let me do that to my hair? I'm looking at you, people who stuck with me through this MLM phase, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, I wanna know. Let's move on. 
we have a doozy. This is gonna be the last one, but it's kind of long, so I think we'd be pausing it quite a bit. Really quick, I'm sorry about the quality of the um, me trying to answer you guys' questions before. Um, I had to do it on my iPad because I guess the picture thing is iPhone only. Okay, so I'm gonna just do it like this because it's easier. Um, I have them pulled up on. Can we do an um counter? An um counter, a literally counter, a so counter. Drink every time I say one of those things. I'm just kidding. That's not saying on my iPad here and I'll just answer them this way because that just looks so bad. So let me get back to uh, someone who asked, what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Um, I've done a lot of crazy things uh, and I don't usually talk about it because it would take like hours and hours and hours to tell you all. It's because a lot of it was not brand safe. I'll just say that for the company I was in. So I would say just to blanket all of the things I did when I was younger, I would say probably the craziest thing I did was decide to keep traveling no matter what uh, when I was 18. Yeah, I definitely don't know what I was thinking doing that much traveling alone. <laughs> when you're in your early 20s, you literally think you're pretty much invincible. It's true what they say. A lot of uh, like the crazy things started from me just uh, traveling no matter the distance, like even cross country a number of times, uh, all by myself. Here, com here it comes. Do you guys feel it? Do you feel it? It's the MLM pitch. It so that covers a, a lot <laughs> of the crazy because I, I really can't say <laughs> all of the crazy things that happened in those travels. No, I can't um, because that would be naughty. Um, the next one is how old are you? I am 24 now. <laughs> I'm 27 now. All of those things happened when I was like around 21 and stuff. Uh, so <laughs> someone just asked, are you gonna buy an iPhone now yet or what? Uh, probably not honestly, but maybe one day I'll convert. <laughs> it's funny because I'm filming this on my iPhone and I edit it on a MacBook Pro. I'm fully converted. Uh, where do you live right now? I live in Tucson, Arizona right now. So, yeah, and it's- Funny, funny story really quick. Um, I said right now because when my boyfriend and I, my now husband, got together, uh, well, it was just supposed to be, you know, a fun time and I was supposed to go move to New Mexico with one of my friends but I ended up staying it's, it's actually cooled down because monsoon season started so I'm really excited for that uh, this next one is what's your best advice for someone who's nervous about starting at works Boy, I'm gonna make a whole new video for this I just want to clarify really quick that that never happened <laughs> um some of these questions I know for a fact, nobody asked. I still, to this day, if I do the question thing on Instagram, nobody responds. I get maybe one question. This never happened. And this is one of those things where you're told to just fake it till you make it. My upline, all the uplines in our team were very big on the fake it till you make it sort of thing. So they, like, they were like, oh, no one will know that nobody asked. And it's like, I'll know and I'll fake it as hard as I can, but like, I'll know that I'm not being genuine. Oh, my best advice for that would be just embrace it. Like, you're gonna be scared. You're gonna be scared to start any job, any new job. You're gonna be scared to do anything you've never done in your life. So just embrace it anyway, and just do it. You guys are so nosy. Yeah, just do it. Just spend the money. Don't worry about the rest. Did you ever do that laundry you were talking about with the crying laughing face? No, I didn't. I haven't done it. I haven't done it. I was gonna, I swear, but no. Uh, I'm a dog mom to adopt or shop. Uh, I say it depends on what the purpose of getting an animal is. I always say adopt because nine times out of 10, you're not getting a dog for a guard dog and you probably don't have allergies. Nobody asked me this. Allergies, so adopt. Why aren't we BFFs? Uh, girl, why aren't we though? I think the girl who asked me this 
ended up joining the business, I want to say. Why aren't we, though? I'm wondering that, too. But have they fixed the AC? Yes, they have. Yes. It is no one asked me that. Nice and cool. I could wear sweatpants in here if I wanted. Part of what's going on here, too, is because you are, you have to create so much content all the time. And they encourage you to be on, like, all the platforms, especially Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and then eventually TikTok during the end of my time here. And you coming up with all that content every day is maddening. But then it's also not considered an income producing activity. Pretty much the only income producing activity is sending hey girl messages on Facebook and Instagram. Something my leaders used to say to me a lot was that no one wants to be the first to dance. So that's how we're supposed to look at messaging and things like that. All of us were wannabe influencers. So coming up with content when you're not a real influencer, clearly I had no idea what I was doing, but I thought I did. You have a regular job. Uh, blankety blank, no. Um, I was able to retire myself from blankety blank because we don't cuss. My three jobs. Um, about a year ago, a little over a year ago now. So I just do work full time. No one asked me this, by the way. Always say you look haggard, but I think you actually look really cute. What do you do? <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but good lighting is everything, boo boo. Fixes all your flaws. I'm just really sorry for what what was with the boo-boo comment? I'm not sure how to get into that, but my sincerest apologies for a poor attempt at humor. To, did you find it hard to potty train baby girl? Um, yes, um, just because she is small and she came from like a really bad shelter. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it was. What's your aesthetic? Uh, girlfriend. I didn't even know what that meant <laughs> when I filmed this. Like, I did not know what aesthetic was and I still don't have one. I don't have one. I wear like t-shirts and no pants every day. Again, I'm so sorry. Um, the way I'm speaking in this video is not appropriate and it it's not suiting for me is it um yeah let's just i barely have a sense of style so i do want to get into thrifting though do you have a family no i come from the dirt the earth yeah i have a family i don't have like a like a husband and kids type thing if that's if that's really what you mean let me get to some of the ones from last night. Um, why do you act like what you do is so great? Uh, because it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. How did you get to be so outgoing? Uh, instinctually, I'm not. Uh, I just kind of like gradually kept just speaking my mind and like saying what's on my heart. And I guess that's where that part is gonna end. I'm uncomfy. In this time of life, I was changing so much so fast, coming out of this angry, angry few years that I was stuck in. I think it was like two or three years that I was just stuck in this angry spiral and I didn't have a part in me to really be positive. So I think what was happening in here especially this last one was putting on that fake persona that's assigned to the, the TBD top leaders and eventually onto us because we want to be just like them because they're celebrities. But I've definitely figured out who I am, the things I like. I definitely thought I knew who I was at this time. And looking back, I mean, you just have, you don't know what you don't know and you have no idea. And then you're looking back on it one day, like at stuff like this, like who was that? Obviously, I know it was me um, saying these things. <sighs> Unfortunately, out loud. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.